Good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is EPSB 58 coming at you on a Monday morning. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw one of my videos last week. I uh, told y'all I'd been watching people do uh, videos on pressing tobacco. And what I ended up doing was taking a food saver and vacuum sealed some tobacco just to check it out, see what it does. So anyway, there's one of the bags that I did. Of course, I didn't have a, a scale. I didn't weigh everything by ounces. I got a half a cup of this and a quarter cup of that, and I just started mixing stuff together just to see what I could come up with. But um, So anyway, I went ahead and opened the bag. And what I got here is I've got a bag of... Uh, Buttered rum mixed with some black Cavendish. So I went ahead and opened this one up. Of course, I had to break it up because it was all compacted together. But it has a nice mellow note to it. Um, you can smell the sweetness from the uh, black Cavendish. You can also smell the like the full body of the buttered rum. I don't guess I did too bad on my first go around with this stuff. Now, how it tastes? It's a nice mellow blend. Um, the room note is very excellent. I mean, you could smoke this in an elevator and nobody would be upset about it. I think I did pretty good. Anyway, I've done uh, about six more bags of different blends of just bulk tobacco that I have here at the house. Uh, just generic stuff. Black Cavendish. Uh, Cherry Cavendish, Vanilla Cavendish, Buttered Rum, you know, different just uh, bulk tobaccos and try to see if I can come up with something. And uh, I started writing stuff down, so eventually uh, I'll find a blend that I like and that's going to be what I end up making most of the time if I decide to continue that route. Um, I'm not really much into you know, brand name labels and stuff like that. Um, I think that, uh, you know, I like enjoying smoking my pipes, but I want to do it on a budget. So I'm not saying that I'm cheap. I'm just saying that I'm looking at ways to enjoy what I'm doing without breaking the bank. So anyway, on another note, I, I told you guys that, uh, you know, I was, I was kind of dabbling with some uh, modifications on some pipes and what I did was I got me a uh, just a bare naked Missouri Pride and decided I'd play with it so I went out and bought some plaster and I filled in all the little pits on the cob And did the usual sanding and stuff. I didn't have a fancy machine like they do at Missouri, the Missouri Mearsham. But, uh, you know, I did pretty good sitting there out on a chair on the patio with a file and some sandpaper. But this is what I came up with. And I kind of thought I wanted it a little bit more rounded on the bottom. Um... I got it nice and smooth to my satisfaction. And I had some uh, leather dye because I do make wallets and belts and stuff like that. But anyway, I had about five or six different stems. And what I did was I put a, a stem on this pipe and took a picture of it. And I sent pictures out to 
a lot of my friends and said, what do you think? Which one do you like the best? Well, it came down to this little amber stem that I got from Missouri Mission. Uh, I did have the church warden, not the church warden, the wizard from the Cobb series on there. I did have the black straight bit. I also had a, a black bent and a black amber bit. I, I tried different kind of variations and uh, I sent those out to my friends and that's what they came up with so that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, I smoked out of it one time. Of course I did the pipe mud down in the bowl. I don't know if you can see it for the light but I put the pipe mud down in there after I modified the stem so it wasn't protruding inside the, of the bowl. So. Anyway, I, I just want to let y'all know what I've been doing. For those of y'all that uh, do have a food saver and, and don't have the time or the money to make a press or the facilities to do so, I would definitely recommend doing this. So, anyway, y'all have a great day. Uh, I'll be back at you sometime. Right now we're going to do some... Monday morning taking a break while uh, working on some projects in the garage. Anyway, I'll talk at you later. Y'all have a good one. <coughs> Keep them bowls lit. We'll talk at you later. Bye now.